Good afternoon. It was a chilly start with some frost around for some of us, but it was a beautiful one, wasn't it, with lots of sunshine. It didn't take long, however, for the shower cloud to start developing and we keep those showers going through the afternoon. In fact, some of them have become quite heavy and widespread. This is the satellite and rad radar combined. You can see how the showers started off on the coast in the last few hours through Wales and southwest England. They're becoming more widespread. So it's sunshine and showers for the rest of the afternoon. Some of those fairly slow moving as well. The reason being the winds are very light indeed. Now they're still coming from a northerly direction so it's a cool source so whether you've got sunshine or showers the temperatures are pretty disappointing for early May. Highest values around 7 to 13 degrees we should be seeing at least 16 or 17 degrees as an average maximum in the south at this time of year. Now those showers continue through the early evening and then overnight they will fade away once again so skies clear and you know what that means it's going to lead to another chilly night the potential for a frost around across parts of Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northwest England and Wales anywhere we see that blue hue so a frosty start a little bit of patchy mist and fog but it's sunshine and showers once again for Sunday. I don't want to spend too long on Sunday because I do want to give you a heads up for Bank Holiday Monday because it looks likely that we change the weather story completely with wet and windy weather expected to move in off the Atlantic. The centre of the low potentially tracking across Northern Ireland into Southern Scotland, Northwest England and Wales through the morning and gradually drifting east, perhaps not arriving until East Anglia and the southeast by the end of the afternoon and staying showery in the far north of Scotland. But it's going to be windy for all, particularly in the southwest gusts of winds in excess of 55 miles an hour and that is just going to make it feel colder still on Monday. In fact, early bank holiday Monday this year could be one of the coldest on record. Take care. On Thursday, May the 6th, voters across Scotland and Wales head to the polls to elect their national parliaments. And in England, millions will have their say on how their towns and cities should be run. But what's the story after the votes have been counted? And what does it mean for you? Join me, Hugh Edwards, Kirsty Walk and Rita Chakrabarty for the results of elections 2021. Full coverage starts on Friday morning at 9 on BBC Two and continues on BBC One at 2.30. iPlayer has your weekend viewing sorted with a gripping sporting documentary charting the downfall of a Tour de France legend. Lance, all episodes streaming now. We believe that many of those killed were not soldiers at all. I fought for my country, and I'm proud of what I did. Welcome to an afternoon of high-stakes snooker on BBC One after yesterday's stunning opener Bingham and Selby's semi resumes. But first, it's Karen Wilson and Sean Murphy in action, live at the Crucible.